We weren't sure we were going to get either quarterback um, coming out of college. So, you know, they still were uh, NFL draft worthy there. And, uh, you know, you always try to uh, hope that you get a chance to work with these young men. Um, but you always give them that opportunity to sneak down south. And, and, and obviously, if they get a shot, they should take it. Um, but we were hoping to get some guys. We still have a few other guys on our list that are down there for NFL mini camps or rookie camps now. These guys have the upper hand, even though they really didn't get any information until we, they showed up. But I think they're handling it well. Um, read progressions are solid. You know, the worst thing for a quarterback coming up from the U.S. is that 12th guy. Just don't have a real good feel for where he's at. So it really does mess with their head and their, and their read progressions. Some veterans here at Rookie Camp, like Trey Holmes, Duke, Shaq Smith. What do you want to see from guys like that in the session? Leadership. Uh, they were. Um, you know, you really, yeah, you, you, they have to be better than the guy they're competing against because they have more information and they have to improve. You know, those guys obviously want more playing time, and uh, you got to earn it, and uh, we'll see what happens. But so far, they are the leaders of the groups and doing a good job. For a guy like Trey, there's open positions perhaps on the, in the receiving group here. Have you seen what you've – have you liked what you've seen through a couple of days? Yeah, I mean, uh, I do think there's some talent out there. So we just try to not overreact to any one practice or one day. Uh, but I, I know he knows what he's doing, and he looks like he came in in shape. He has a little extra weight. Um, you know, just a lot of camp to go, though, so we'll just uh, kind of take it day by day. Back to the quarterback. Are the two young guys in here, do you envision them as fighting for a number three job, or just what sort of uh, thought there? Number two job. Number two? So uh, I love Tommy's work, and I, he showed up ready to go, but um, basically Jake's your starter, and everybody else has got to go out there and show what they can do. I remember when Juwan Simpson was a player, the energy he would bring into a practice. Is he Come on, you're not that old. I, it wasn't <laughs> that long ago. <laughs> I know. But he brings a ton of energy when he was a player. Is it similar as a coach? Uh, you know what? I, uh, I haven't, uh, I've been happy with both uh, all of our young coaches, um, but I'm just going to let them be themselves. I really don't, don't, I don't, I don't want to tell you what to do energy-wise. If you think it's needed, go get them. If they're responding the way you're coaching them, they're doing the right things. Um, just know your, know what you're trying to teach, and find relationships and build that player, build that individual player, because not all get coached the same way. And um, I think he's enjoying it. It's probably best to talk to him, though. I know you said it was only day two, but uh, receivers uh, the, across the board. Uh, what do you like from some of these young guys? Well, you know, I think we're catching the ball fairly well. That's easy when you're not getting hit. Um, and I'd, I'd like, to, honestly, I'd like to see us use better speed and motion. I mean, that's the thing that you even have Canadian guys like Ryson Johns. He's never used downhill motion, never. And, uh, you know, we're playing right now. We, we have fullbacks and doing different jobs, playing receiver, playing line. So it's really hard to honestly evaluate everybody equally. But what I want to see is good tempo. I don't want to see mental errors. I want to see good work ethic. I want to see high compete level. And when the ball's in the air, go get it. But you talked about racing just a little bit there, and I know you talked about him in the offseason. Um, does he just bring such raw talent to this team that he can't be overlooked a little? Yeah, he's in a battle, though, especially, you know, when we we drafted a couple, obviously, receivers. Um, you know, he's played more as an inline tight end fullback for two years down in the NFL. We, we're going to try to use him in that mode right now. We're just right now with our numbers, we're down a little at receiver, so he's got to play more uh, with a waggle and outside. That's fine, though. Get used to it and get better at it. Uh, one thing he does do, and you can see it, is uh, when the ball's in the air, he snares it. And, uh, you know, if you got, if you can't be given six, seven, use it. <laughs> is there they, another Mike, position besides, you talked a lot about how there's a lot of competition at the receiver position. Any other positions that are kind of standing out to you in terms of guys really fighting? Battling. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, uh, ultimately, I think the DB group is wide open this year. Um, we've got some vets coming back in, but I, I, I really feel like uh, everyone, there's jobs there. Middle linebacker is wide open. Um, you know, so we, we we have other veterans, but we also have guys that were here. Both Perry and Shaq were with us last year, and uh, they'll be given an opportunity to be the starter there. And ultimately, it is a little tougher on the deep front. Uh, we feel like we've, we have vets and uh we have committed money to those guys, but it doesn't mean that you can't rotate in and find your way on special teams, get the job done. Speaking of the defensive line, uh, Mike Moore was a free agent signing. He announced via Instagram he was retiring. I know never appeared here, but yet he was an established veteran that you went out and signed. Yeah. Just your reaction. Yeah, probably best to answer now and we'll just move on. I, I don't know Mike a lot personally. I, I was uh, highly surprised and, and disappointed. But um, one thing I've always, in my opinion, you never talk a guy out of retirement. Uh, you're not going to get what you want. Uh, I was hopeful and I feel like he, he was a guy that we wanted or we wouldn't sign him, but 
that just is an opportunity for another man.